adding social media integration into your website is becoming more and more important as you begin to do business on the internet, especially Facebook information, because it's a huge environment. It's a huge community and an important part of most online businesses. But up until now, putting Facebook integration or Facebook apps into your website has been very complicated and has required you to go to the Facebook developer website, copy paste some code, get some JavaScript and put it in the right place and then hope it works. 90 Second Website Builder has made this so painless and so easy this video will actually be pretty short because it's so simple to do. I'm going to show you three tools in 90 Second Website Builder that will allow you to put Facebook tools on your web page, on your website, very, very quickly and very easily. I've got three of them showing here on this particular page. Understand that in order to see what these look like, you will not be able to just drag these tools on the canvas and preview. They have to actually be published to a server. That's because of the way Facebook works. But once you do this and you can publish your page to the server, you can see how all of this works. So let me show you a few of them. Right now we're looking at all three, but I'm going to focus on this one over here to the left called the Facebook page plugin box. Now what this is, is basically a miniature version of your Facebook fan page. You might have a fan page or a business page, there's a couple of different kinds. You can have a business page or you can have a personal page, but we call them fan pages. And basically by putting this plugin onto your page, you can show a live feed of your Facebook fan page. Very simple to do. And this is what it looks like. By the time you look at this, it will look different because again, this is a live feed. But this is basically bringing the content from a Facebook page onto this website and feeding it there. Very, very popular and something people want to do more of, but they find it too complex to put in the right code and test it. 90 Second Website Builder makes this unbelievably easy to do. I'll show you here in a second how that works. So this is one of the tools available. Another one has to do with the fan page itself. It's a much smaller version. Instead of having the whole feed of the fan page, this one just puts the title of it and a link to the fan page on the website, a little bit of a uh, part of the image, that you would have on your profile and then um, a way for people to like the fan page not to be confused with liking your website that's different here you're inviting people to like your facebook fan page and when they click this button they can if they've already liked it like i have it will show as liked but if you were logged in here and you hadn't liked this page yet and you should by the way then you should go click the liked button. It will show you that you can, and you'll be liking the actual 90 Second Website Builder fan page on Facebook. That's different than the third one I'm about to show you. Here's the third possibility. This allows you to put a like button on your website where people can like your website, this actual page, and it will show on their Facebook feed that they have liked your website. So in this case, if you were at this spot, you would see uh, whether or not you've liked this web page. And if you have, it will show on your feed. And you would also see, possibly see thumbnails of the photos of some of your friends that also like this website. So those are the differences. These two have to do with the Facebook page or the fan page that's on the Facebook website. And this one uniquely has to do with your website. So now that you see what they look like, Let's look at how to do this in 90 Second Website Builder. Frankly, it couldn't be easier. Here's what this page looks like in design mode. These are all what we call ready to use JavaScripts. And the way we got them on the page was it just simply went over to the toolbox, went to the ready to use JavaScript section down here, which is under the advanced tools. These are the ready to use JavaScript. So if you click on this and drag a box out onto the canvas, it will give you all of the possibilities. The ones we're working with here are these Facebook ones, Facebook like box, Facebook like button, which is different, and the Facebook page plugin. We're gonna talk about all three of these and see how they're very different. I'm going to cancel this because I've already put them on the canvas here and I'll show you how they're configured. So let's start with that Facebook page plugin. And again, you can't preview it to see it. You have to go publish it and then look at it online. Like that's what we were just doing a few minutes ago. So let me double click on this and show you the settings. It's really simple. The main thing you need to know is the URL to your Facebook fan page, which is easy to get in your Facebook account. You can literally go to your fan page and simply copy paste the URL 
and put it in here. If you have a hard time finding what that URL is, you can find that under the About section of your Facebook fan page, or just Google that. There's plenty of people that will show you how to find the Facebook URL. It's pretty simple. However, there's two different kinds of fan pages. You could have a business fan page, or you could have a personal fan page. So make sure you get the right URL. They're slightly different. So mine's kind of complex because I have a business one, but this is the URL that I need to use to link to my fan page onto my website. So once you know this, you're pretty much done because you just paste that into this section of the JavaScript. I can decide to hide the cover photo. I showed that as false because I wanted the cover photo showing. I can show faces, meaning pictures of people who are in my friend group that also like the page. I can show the header, which is pretty obvious. You want people to see what it is. And then, of course, you want to show the page posts, which is what the feed is. So this would be the typical setting. So by choosing these settings, clicking OK, and then publishing, again, not just previewing, but publishing the page, we end up with this right here. I've got one published online. That's what this looks like. So there's the heading, there's the photos of friends that like this page, and there's the feed of the posts on that page. That's all there is to it. Again, this used to take hours. Now it's just a matter of knowing the URL to your fan page. The same thing is true for this one over here. We just need to know what the URL to the fan page is because we want them to like our fan page with this. So if you double click on this one, it's the same idea. You want to find the link or the URL to your fan page. Mine's kind of long. It looks like this. You can choose a color scheme to be light or dark. Light is the most common. And then if you want to show faces, you want to show the header. And again, you want to show the stream from the fan page. You can do that. And what that looks like when we publish is the one I showed you here. Just like that. It's this box right here. It's kind of a streamlined version, but it's a great way for you to offer the opportunity for people on your website to say, hey, like my page on Facebook, just click here, boom. And they're not leaving your website when they do. They just click on this and they can like your Facebook page, which is really a cool thing. It, actually, they can do it over here too in this one. So this is just a more expanded version of it. But then the third one, which does not involve a link to your fan page on Facebook, this involves the link to the website you want them to like but you want that to show on Facebook so that they can show their friends the website that they've liked. This is actually pretty powerful marketing. If you get people to like your website while they're on Facebook, and most people are logged into Facebook all the time, this can really help your traffic. If we double click on this, again, the settings are unbelievably simple. Choose a color scheme. You can even choose the font. There's a couple of different layouts here. There's a standard, there's a button count, and a box count. You can play with those. I like the standard version. If you want there to be a send button, you want to show the faces, and the word like is most common. You don't have to use like, you can use recommend. I like to use the word like. People are more familiar with that. But the URL I want them to like is my website. This is the URL to my website, not the fan page. We just simply put that in here, make a few decisions, click OK, and you're literally done. Again, you'll need to publish. You'll also need to be logged into Facebook, which you probably are. And when you publish, that like button and that whole situation is going to show just like this. Right now, I've got it liked, obviously, but I could unlike it. And if I wanted to share, that's what this send button was, I can click here and I can send this to my timeline. And your end user could do the same thing. That's what's powerful about this is that you could have your end user share a link to your website on their Facebook feed just by clicking this button. That's a very powerful tool. Really easy to do. No more creating apps in Facebook. No more copying, pasting JavaScript all over the world. Just grab the ready-to-use JavaScripts from the toolbox in 90 Second Website Builder. Put them anywhere you want on your website, and you're good to go.